Hello everyone, I'm Maria Soloveitchik, I'm the CEO of Syntex, and we're targeting incurable cancers. So we all know somebody who's been affected by cancer. It is still the second leading cause of death worldwide, and that's on the rise as we're living longer as a population. It is costing us over $100 billion to treat cancer annually, but only half this money is going towards targeted therapeutics. So why can we better target cancer? That's because current therapies do not go after the causes. We all know what causes cancer. It's accumulated mutations in our DNA that cause cells to proliferate too fast. And chemo is something that we've been using for the past 30 years, and these are agents that target the DNA itself, damaging it beyond repair, and hoping to kill cancer cells that way. But besides the side effects of go with chemo, is actually allowing cancers to evolve resistance against it, because some of the mutations that the cancer benefits with the chemo actually end up being beneficial to the tumor itself. What we need to do is we need to go after the actual mechanistic causes within the cell, the communication network. Each cell in our bodies is composed of an average of 650,000 different proteins that are interacting with each other in the so-called protein communication network. Within these massive pathways, there are specific sub-pathways that are responsible for functions. There are pathways that tell the cell when it needs to destruct itself and die in a process called apoptosis, and there's pathways that signal for the immune system to recognize the cell and clear it from our bodies when it becomes mutated. Cancer bypasses these pathways. It ignores cues to destroy itself, and it ignores cues to tell the body to destroy it as well. However, by becoming that, it becomes actually really dependent on other pathways, such as the DNA repair pathway, that it has to upregulate to cope with the large amount of damage that is caused by replicating too fast. What we do at Syntex is we identify networks that cancer cells rely on, and within them we identify specific nodes that are now essential for the entire network to function, and we block them. This selectively kills cancer cells without affecting normal body cells in a process called synthetic lethality, ergo Syntex. So traditionally, in the drug discovery process, to get to a point where you have a compound, you know how it works, and you see efficacy in tissues, it takes 10 to $15 million and up to six years. This is a really long process, and we aim to disrupt it. At Syntex, we've developed our first compounds, STX101 and 105, and we have great efficacy in vivo, and we've gone from concept to compound in two months with $20,000. So how do we do this? We have a proprietary drug selection technology that we've designed and developed. We have a cell that's reconstituting the interaction that we want to block, and in the same cell, it's making one out of 10 billion different compounds that can block it potentially. And these pro-drugs are being selected by the cell. So we engineered it so whenever there is a constant interaction, it triggers a suicide cascade and the cell destructs itself and drops out of the population. However, in the few instances where the actual compound breaks the interaction, the cell can now survive, and we can detect what caused it. We call this technology Torpedo. The platform starts with identifying the crucial interaction, screening an unbiased library of 10 billion different compounds, zooming in on the ones that work, and reiterating the library based on those to make it even better. And after we have the initial compounds, we test them in the clinically relevant models, such as patient biopsy samples. It is much better than the existing competition for these types of compounds, as they are made by the cell. They are so cheap because the cell is making them for us. The cells are also trying to survive, so they're reiterating the compounds themselves to make them even better at disrupting. And having it be intracellular also rules out anything that's generally toxic to the cells. It is cheap and fast. Syntex owns all the IP for the platform, the compounds, as well as the novel interfaces that we're going after. And we filed provisional patents to protect this with the help of Wilson Sonsini. So the lead compounds, STX101 and 105, that I previously mentioned, block a really essential DNA repair pathway. This pathway is upregulated in a variety of cancers, and they depend upon it for survival. Some of the cancers are shown here. Uh, Castration-resistant prostate cancer, lung cancer, pancreatic, and liver cancer. These are large patient burdens, but also huge market opportunities. We started with liver cancer. It is cholangiocarcinoma is the second most common type of liver cancer, and it is on the rise as well because of bowel, uh, IBS, and inflammation. It is very deadly. The current prognosis is eight months with the standard of care. That's abysmal. But starting with the smallest cancer allows us to get an orphan designation by the FDA, which reduces the cost of clinical trials by half, allowing us to go into the clinic on our own. 
So here I'm showing you our results. This is a movie uh, showing normal cancers, uh, no, sorry, normal cells on top, the liver cancer in the bottom. On the left, they're untreated, and on the right, they're treated with our compound STX101. The compound itself is labeled in green to show us that it is entering cells efficiently. And in the media of these cells, there's a dye that turns them red whenever they're killed. So as soon as we start imaging, we see that there's quite a bit of cell death, and it is very selective to the liver cancer cells. Normal cells are green, they're uptaking the molecule, but they're completely fine, they're unaffected. This is amazing because it's showing that we get selectivity on the molecular level based on the hypothesis that we generated by what the cancer is actually doing. And this is after three days, as you can see on the left, the liver cancer took over the complete population. Uh, but with our compound, there is no growth and no resistance. Furthermore, this happens really fast. If you this is as soon as we started imaging. And within 15 minutes, it was a complete death field. So this is very exciting to us. The kinetics are so remarkable. We asked around with different experts, and nobody's seen anything work this fast. So this is a novel pathway that our interaction is involved in, the control cell death. This is really exciting to us. Uh, so the next steps right now, once we have the compounds, we know what they're doing. We know that they work even in serum. We're putting them into animals. We'll be doing mouse trials in the next few months. Uh, and we're very excited to, to see that data. Uh, we have a pipeline full with different indications for the other cancers that I mentioned previously, as well as for things that I haven't had time to mention, as well as different interactions that we're going after with SDX201 and 301. Torpedo is going to be used in-house, but it's open to partnership with different pharmaceutical companies to develop compounds for them. We're furthering STX-101 to a point of an IND, and then we, at each point we will license it out and use the revenue to create more compounds that we will further in-house. We have a lot of interest from pharmaceutical companies in the platform as well as in the compounds, and we're currently in talks with several of these. We're only starting with oncology. We're going to use Torpedo as our engine to build a large, sustainable therapeutics company that betters human health by reaching all sorts of aspects of it. The founding team is composed of myself and Charlie, with over 25 years of research experience specializing in cancer genetics and drug design. And we're advised by Tri Long, our business advisor, uh, and we're very excited to have Leonard Post on, uh, on board as our clinical development advisor. He's the CSO of Bimarin, and he's got a lot of experience bringing drugs to market. We're only starting with one interaction right now, but there are 650,000 more to go in our cells where we can modulate their individual functions. Help us make it a reality. We're currently raising $3 million to get us through our preclinical work and into an IND stage. Uh, we have uh, $1 million committed. Thank you so much. Thank you.